What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Supreme. Back with a video that we got Al Bundy's most offensive jokes. Now, if y'all new here, welcome to the channel, homies. Appreciate y'all for tuning into the King Supreme gang. Back with another video on deck. Back with more bangers. Back in action with another reaction for y'all. We got Al Bundy's most offensive jokes. Now, this is from his Married with Children show, and I'm very excited to get to this, bro. If y'all knew, I react to anything on this channel comedy, sports, funny stuff, literally anything. So I'm down to react to whatever. So please keep letting me know down below in the comments what videos I want to see next. And I got y'all more of the bangers. You understand what I'm saying? So very, very excited. I'm not, I'm not gonna make this intro too long, but please, please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share, put down below that I react to next. And we're on the road to 100k. So turn on those post notifications and all that, and get the subscribe button because you're gonna go crazy on this channel. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I love y'all so much. We're gonna get into this one though. Al Bundy's most offensive jokes. I know it's gonna be a good one. And yeah, let's go. Can I get a whoop on? Whoop Bundy! Remember me, Bundy? No. <laughs> the one you insulted? I'm sorry, ma'am. You have to be a little more specific. <laughs> you made fun of my weight. You called me a giant seal. Well, let's see, I had four elephants, I had a <laughs> rhino who wanted some flip-flops, had a manatee. <laughs> nah, nah, don't remember any seals. <laughs> you jog my memory, you know what jog is, that's what you do when the ice cream truck is pulling out. With this attitude, you're gonna be working here for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, take a gander into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. <laughs> Man's was ruthless with it, man. God damn it. Come, Penelope. Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. Uh, try the moon. You'll weigh less than that. <laughs> I demand equal time. Speaking of equal, you really ought to try something. <laughs> I've only won them once, and they split at the sides. <laughs> Well, let me explain. See, it's, it's just like an elevator. There's a two-ton weight limit on this. Where do you think you're going? Aren't you open? Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. <laughs> okay, Enid, work with me here. Pull in, Pull in your talons. We're almost there. <laughs> See? I told you I was a four. No, ma'am. Four is what you'll have to yell when the shoe pops off your foot. Excuse me, but am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. Come on, Arnold. We're leaving. I want a blue. You've already got one. Give me the shoe. Uh, you already got one. It's crazy, dog. Damn. I feel them though. Something. You know, uh, people in the customers. Brian. I ain't gonna lie. The customers. They be on. They be on. Uh, with, with shit in retail like that. I totally understand. Cause the customers do be bullshitting sometimes. They do be. Not. Not all of them. But they be some. Some Karens or this or that. So hey, sometimes you just gotta say a little like that. <laughs> but he was dissing the fuck out of them though. Like leaving. Some of these I are powder a balloon. You've already got one. <laughs> Give me the shoe. <laughs> Hold on. Do you have any pumps in my size? Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow me to sell them. <laughs> well, I hope you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. And I hope you get slim fast in yours. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're about to have our Christmas party here, so would you mind eggnogging on out? Do you want us to gag you? You're already doing that, but I would like to be blindfolded. <laughs> you can't compete with my charm. I'm a natural-born salesman. Excuse me. Hey, do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Caught her a hag. You've never been employee of the month, have you? That's right. But if I were you, I wouldn't be going out on any limbs. We are trying to teach this man that his behavior towards us is unacceptable. <clears throat> but a better use of time would be to teach each other the words, no thank you, I'm full. <laughs> 
size am I? Well, I'm no expert, but from where I sit, I'd say, too big for shoes. Well, I'm not sure I like this shade of blue. I'll tell you what I'll do then. We'll stand you in front of a mirror. I'll begin strangling you. When you reach the shade of blue that is satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. I want my money back. These shoes fell apart after one day and I want to know why. Well, don't, you see, ma'am, this... Don't ask him that question. I want to know why. Do not ask Al Bundy that question. Well, you see, ma'am, this is a pliant heel with a cork filling. Whereas you are a giant seal with a pork filling. <laughs> make me look fat. To oh. be honest. <laughs> no, they make you look very fat. <laughs> Just about had enough of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. <laughs> He's relentless. He's relentless. You know medium, the size between small and you. I really thought this mule would look better in white. I bet that's what her husband said on her wedding night. I nail the soles directly to your feet. It'll give you more traction when you're pulling the ice wagon. They don't fit. And your ad said we fit every foot. Yes, ma'am, but our problem is what we're dealing with is not what Webster meant by feet. Now, let's face it, girls, what we've got here are rib roasts with nails. What I would suggest is surrounding your tootsies with those little brown potatoes wrapping for them so they dry wine. I have tiny toes, no. don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. For sausages. Sausages, 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 sausages. For every insult. No, I ain't gonna lie, one day I'm gonna have to just watch this whole show all over. Like, I don't know how many episodes there are. I think there was a few seasons, bro, but I just, there's so many insults, dog, in this shit, dog. He did not get it. Sausages, sausages. For every insult, you lose a free meal. Oh, come on, I didn't mean it. Haven't you ever had something just slip right out of your mouth? Well, I suppose not. <laughs> I'm not leaving here until you help me. Well, I don't know what I could do that God and Deal Emil couldn't, but I'll give it a shot. Did I tell you how pretty you look today? <laughs> no. Good, then the blood is still reaching my brain. Because it's against my belief to upset the balance of nature in any way. That's why I haven't washed my feet since I converted. <laughs> I haven't offended you. Well, you've got to have lunch before you lose it. <laughs> you haven't heard the last of this. What goes around comes around. Well, considering your orbit, looks like I have about ten more years. <laughs> I just don't see anything I like. You ought to be sitting on this stool. <laughs> you will be hearing from my attorney. Is that the law? I just of... don't see anything I like. You gotta be sitting on this. That is fucked. That was that's so fucked. You will be hearing from my attorney. Is that the law offices of Hagen and Dot? <laughs> These shoes are too big. I'm the, swimming in them. Well, that would explain the life preserver under your dress. <laughs> that's it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? <laughs> You don't seem to understand me. I want something that goes with this dress. A bubbling cauldron? <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. I need it to get this close to your feet. <laughs> he doesn't really. I don't understand it. I was a size six before aerobics class. All that jumping must have expanded my foot. <laughs> And I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. How dare you say that to my face? Well, I'd say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank again. <laughs> so because you're mad at me, you're going to take it out on a perfectly innocent chair. <laughs> a chair that has suffered enough already. Oh, these <laughs> suffered feel enough great. Already. <laughs> Go 
Bundy, I find you guilty of excessive cruelty to large women. You should see what he's like with midgets. <laughs> the proper term is little people. Well, that's the proper term for anyone standing next to you. <laughs> that's it. Hey, that's our dinner coupons, you fat cow. <laughs> We don't like to be called fat. Then stay home. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> Dog, if they aired this shit nowadays, bro, I don't even know, though, real shit. I would, don't even know what, how people would react, bro. Again, like I said, I don't get offended off shit. People get offended off of this or that. Fat joke, skinny joke, this, this, that joke. It's all just jokes, bro, for real. I did love this one, though. I wonder if, but I do wonder if, it, if this shit aired today, nowadays, what would be the reaction on it? Would it have been as big as it was? What would be the um, thing? But this was funny as fuck. Uh, like I said, it's all love, bro. You know, obviously, you know, I respect all women. I don't, I'm not trying to be, you know what I mean, this, that. It's just jokes, bro. Take it as a joke. If you take it seriously, <sighs> sucks to suck. <laughs> you don't really know what to say about that. You feel me? It's nothing personal type shit. It's just a fucking joke. It's funny as hell. It makes, it has, makes me have a good laugh type shit, you know what I'm saying? You can tell a joke about me, I wouldn't feel bad about it type shit. Um, but yeah, it's funny, it's, it's actually really funny. But that's the video, shout out to Al Bundy, shout out to the Married With Children show. Let me know if you want more videos from there and I got y'all more of the bangers. Preach y'all for tuning in, preach y'all for love. You know what the deal is, road to 100k, so I'm gonna keep on posting these bangers for y'all. And yeah, I love y'all so much. Uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share to see more videos. It's your boy King Supreme, I'll catch y'all next time.